What in the crap is that, dude? Holy crap! Holy crap! Howdy folks, welcome to the first episode of Paranormal Land Cruiser Experience, where me and Cornbread travel the world and we find the freakiest places on earth. We're going to investigate the things that you might not understand. We're going to bring things to light and show you some stuff that you wouldn't believe. So come along with us today to Corpsewood Manor. Get ready. There ain't no telling what's about to happen. Sea wood. Sea wood, oh. You gotta have a crank in that sea, though. You gotta have a crank in the sea. Wood. Yeah, Corpsewood Manor. You know, I've been wanting to go investigate this place for a long time now. Uh, it's deep, deep in the Chattahoochee National Forest. There's no easy way to get there. As a matter of fact, we don't even know where Corpsewood Manor is. None of us have ever been there. Uh, we have a general map that, you know, gets us in the area, but we're gonna have to see if we can find it anyways. And what is this place, man? What do you know about Corpsewood Manor, Paul? There was a guy, I believe he come from Chicago. Yeah. And, uh, he was some type of doctor. He was a pharmacologist. All right. And he come and bought this piece of property and built everything by hand out here. They laid, said they laid 45,000 bricks. Him and him and his house, uh, him and his housemate. Yeah. Used the, the dirt and the water from the property to make the place. And it was said that he was involved in the Satanic Church. He was. He was a card-carrying member of the Church of Satan. With that, uh, what is it, Antonio LaVey? Yeah. And uh, the reason he named it Corpsewood Manor is because he fell in love with all the dead wood on the property. There's an interesting and ugly story behind Corpsewood Manor. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. There's some wild crap that happened there. And you know, we can't really explain it or understand it, but there are some places in the world where some weird things kind of linger. And Quartzwood Manor might be one of those places, and that's why we're going to investigate. You might be wondering why the crap we're in the Land Cruiser. Because on the Paranormal Land Cruiser experience, we fall deep, son. We almost there? No, we got quite a ride. We ain't even, we ain't even got off the paved road yet. That's why you gotta have a Land Cruiser, man. This road gets pretty darn rough right up here. Corpsewood, man. Yo, we've always wanted to come back in here, Jim. Yeah, gone, and I'm gonna have to get my tires dirty. Son of a gun. This joker, man. Charles, Charles, Dr. Charles Scudder. He was the, the leader of up here at Courtswood Manor. He had an effigy of a demon on the front of that building. And I imagine it was, a, that was probably the effigy of the main demon that them jokers was worshiping. Get this, man. This joker drew a portrait of himself. We'll attach a picture of it in the video here. And it's, he's got a, a gag in his mouth and he's got five bullet holes in his head. And when they found him down here after he was killed, he had a gag in his mouth and he had been shot five times in the forehead. I'm talking about that's wild, man. Mm -hmm. There was something going on down here at Corpswood Manor. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I can't explain it. There was something going on. 
according to the the legends or whatever, they had actually summoned a demon down here. And uh, they summoned this demon to basically help their dogs guard the place. And he, his dog was named Beelzebub, which is the chief demon named in the Bible. Oh, this is it. This is it right here. There's supposed to be two stones blocking the trail. There's two stones blocking the trail right there. I guarantee you that's it. We're going to have to abandon the Land Cruiser though and get on foot. That's not good. <laughs> hey. In case we see a dang monster or a Dracula. I'm going to douse them with it. Yep. So well, here we go, I'm assuming. Yep. CW stands for corpse wood. Corpse wood manor right there on top of the rock. I thought that was Chad Wright. I don't like having to depart the land cruiser, but we're going to do it for you guys. Let's go down here and See if we can find this place. That's not good. Hey, that, that uh, dead tree said turn around. chicken coop is. Now, I don't know what these things right here were. Looks like sip. So this is the front entrance to Corpsewood Manor. You can see it here in this old photo. This is the arch that we're standing right in front of right now. This is the effigy of the demon that they worshiped, which was right here on the front of this archway. And then you can see the walls of the house behind it. It was a big old place, that's for sure. Now there's supposed to be a chicken coop out here somewhere. They apparently built a three-story chicken coop. The first story was for chickens. The middle or the next level was for storage. And the top story was called their pink room. And that was where these jokers had all of their, um, their drug parties and uh, homosexual parties and all this crap. These guys that built all this, they were Satan worshipers and they were homosexuals. And so I'm imagining that that effigy of that demon up there was some sort of demon of sexual perversion or something that they worship because that's what led them all to their demise anyways in the first place. But that's where they did all their their mess was in that chicken coop. Is these guys that lived here, like Corn said, they came from Chicago. They came out here and built all this by hand. And they said they was gonna live out here. Well, of course, old rednecks will come down here and ask them for permission to hunt or whatever. Well, one time two old rednecks came down here and asked them for permission to hunt. And they got to know these guys that lived here. And they started entering into the pink room with them and doing all that stuff hitting them drugs and 
you know, whatever they did up there. Well, until Rednecks came back one day later on and came up in here and killed both of them. And them two Rednecks are still in jail. They got life in prison for that. The police said when they come through here and searched this place after the murder, they found two human skulls in here that these guys, what are their names again? Charles Scrutter and his buddy Joe. They had two human skulls in here. They had four or five vials of LSD. They had all kinds of pornography in here. Uh, said you walk up in the house right here and the art decorating the hallways, one of the pieces of art was that one I was telling y'all about, about that joker with five bullet holes in his head. It was in here. Said they had a skeleton of a baby in here. These were some demonic souls, buddy. I'm here to tell you. I was reading when when he come up in there with the gun to kill these boys, that guy Charles Shrutter or whatever, the main dude, he laughed about it. He said he walked in with that gun and he told that guy, shoot, shoot, shoot. I guess he knowed he was about to get killed. Jokers are wild, son. Well, Corn, what do you think about this place, man? Do you think there's anything to it? Well, I think there's something to it. What they was doing back when they was here doing it, mm -hmm. they was doing nothing but evil. That's all they was doing. Homosexual orgies and drugs and whatnot. Yeah. How did that man make his money when he was here? He was well, just living off what he already had? Yeah, it said they spent that. So that's essentially, that's the reason them rednecks murdered them was because they thought they had money buried out here. But apparently they spent most of their darn money building this place and buying the land. And uh, they come in here and, you know, they held them up and told them we won't know where the money's at. They said they, they, don't, they didn't have any money. Apparently they did have some money in the bank, but uh, they, they withdrew $200 a week or something like that. And they said that's what they, they lived off of so um yeah they didn't need much yeah living out here but you reckon anything's lingered lingered out here i mean you got local lore the high school kids come out here and pitch a fit and i'm sure they hear stuff you know and spread that of yeah. the night me personally no no i don't think um I haven't really sensed anything strange out here, you know, just being here on site. And you know, how do you even explain what it is when, when, you, when you have these places and these people that see these things that, you know, traditionally you would call it a ghost or something like that or, you know, how do you even explain what that is that lingers? Because you know me and my story yeah. and having that encounter with that demonic entity or force, you know, what in the world even is that? And I think a lot of this crap that people sees and whether, it's a, whether they try to explain it as an alien or a ghost or whatever, I think a lot of what it is is demonic. I think the majority of it is demonic and I think it's possible that many of these demonic beings are four-dimensional beings and so when they, this is just speculation, but as they, they interact in a three-dimensional world there's only these kind of signs of them but they're not clearly visible. Right. So, but, but why something would linger in a place, 
I, I don't have the answer for it. Nor do I. I so, think someone coming out here, the, the biggest thing above all people that search for that kind of thing, they have an expectation to begin with. Yeah. They expect to come across something. Crap is that, dude? Holy crap! Get out of here, dude. Holy crap! <laughs>